because Elmo, you're supposed to know better than this. There was a time in America where people were fist fighting over Tickle Me Elmo doll. What the fuck is conduct training? Or to my mother, Bugs Bunny would never do no shit like that. Fuck Sesame Place as a staff, theme park, and a motherfucker crew. Rants with Ant, damn it. First off, let me start by saying that I grew up watching Sesame Street. Like, as a little kid, early mornings, like, that shit was fun. Like, I really dig Sesame Street. Even to this day, I still do. I mean, the jury's still out right now, but, you know, we still cool, allegedly. And I visit this exact Sesame Place theme park where, you know, the characters ignored those little black kids. But, you know, the fact that they're still around like 30 plus years later, I think is is really dope. I think that's cool that, you know, something that I grew up watching is still around and like there's a whole nother generation of kids who get to experience this. I think it's really fucking dope. Sidebar, like a couple years ago, I got a ticket like right outside of where the theme park is in Langhorne, PA. Yeah, I was doing 83 and the 55. So I have no idea who this character Rosita is, okay? She first appeared on Sesame Street back in 91. Rosita was introduced to the Sesame Street audience in demo as the first bilingual American character representing Mexico. Maybe she was sleeping during orientation, but Shorty must not know the history of Sesame Street. Real talk though, before this story popped off, I was listening to comedian Godfrey on the Ghetto Boys Reloaded podcast. Y'all should check that out. Godfrey was telling Scarface and Willie D how he worked on another show that was filmed in the same studio that Sesame Street was. It was pretty cool, like a couple doors down, I guess. I don't know, whatever. According to Godfrey, while he was there, he got the information. Godfrey's actually a, like a super like intelligent motherfucker. Like he's well informed on a lot of shit. I like motherfuckers like that. Anyway, according to Godfrey, the show Sesame Street was developed for young black and brown kids. Basically, get them to pre-start before they get to preschool, kindergarten, wherever they're going. It was like the first like early education system for black and brown kids. Free. He even broke it down like as far as to explain it like the set design was supposed to resemble the uh the stoops in Harlem. That's pretty fucking cool. Shit was wild. I had no idea that's why the show was created, but that tidbit of knowledge like actually like it made me feel good inside. Don't know why. Now, here comes the viral video of Rosita, the Muppet character, ignoring a five-year-old black girl. Come to find out, four more employees dressed as Elmo, Ernie, Telly Monster, and Abby the Kadabi? What? Abby Kadabi? I don't know. Anyway, they all ignored black guests on June 18th. All of them. They got video. Now, I'm really mad at Elmo because, Elmo, you're supposed to know better than this. It, we in the black community, we hold Elmo near and dear to us. Trust me, there was a time in America where people were fist fighting over Tickle Me Elmo doll. Christmas was wild that year. Word on the web though, Sesame Place and SeaWorld both have lawsuits filed against them for pervasive and appalling race discrimination. Pervasive and appalling race discrimination. I ain't surprised though at SeaWorld being called out for race discrimination, not in the least bit. I mean, they do kidnap large marine animals and then confine them to a glorified prison pool. So if they treat animals like that, how do you think they treat the humans, especially the black ones? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it all makes sense to me. The fact that SeaWorld is still operating to this day after one of their orcas killed three trainers is fucking wild to me. R.P. Tillicum, salute, did what had to be done. I'm just saying. Now there's a $25 million clash action lawsuit against Sesame Place as a staff, theme park, and a motherfucking crew. And Chuck E. Cheese out of Wayne, New Jersey, they coming for you too. Sidebar, why Chuck E. Cheese, that Muppet dude, look like he been popping them perk 30s out here looking real flabby and sick, right? Word to my mother, Bugs Bunny would never do no shit like that. Even those rednecks, Elma Fudd and Yosemite Sam, they know what time it is. It's 2022. That old school way of thinking ain't hitting like it used to. Not today. It's no surprise to me that none of those employees caught on viral video snubbing the black children weren't fired. Sesame Place did release a statement saying that they will offer conduct training, aka be nice to black people. What the fuck is conduct training? It's simple mathematics. You treat people nice, they treat you nice, and why would... Never mind. that's a whole nother conversation. Sesame Place reps, they also said that Rosita waving off the little girl wasn't to snub her. They were saying that 
she was declining holding the child for taking a picture, which I guess that's prohibited. I mean, yeah, I guess I was like, cool. But nah, fuck all that, yo. Y'all did that. That was some bullshit. They say that violence solves nothing, but I beg to differ. You know what I think? All the parents of those black kids that was ignored should be able to shoot the fade with the employees that was in those costumes. Some of you have never been punched in the face before, and it really showed. Rants with Aunt Dammit.